You know you you know you women you offend the most high when you don't follow his layout for what you are. Get, get that in 1 Corinthians 11. Let's show the sisters what the most high's layout for them is. 1 Corinthians. Read it loud. They don't want to hear that. Read it. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 3. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ and the head of the woman is the man and the head of Christ is the most high God. So now, wait a minute. Why is the women telling me that? Oh, I don't, I don't need no man. I don't follow no man. But the Bible told you that's your position. That's why you don't have no army anymore. You're the easiest people to trick. It's so easy to fool you. you you're going to take the bait and say, well, hey, I get to be and rise up higher than the men. Meanwhile, where's your army at? And he's just destroying your nation and you got a high position. Great. But guess what? Can't nobody defend you, though. That's why all them daughters is missing in D.C. All of them. Them black women, man. But when John Benet Ramsey went missing, they did movies about her and they still talk about her. And where are our young girls in DC at? Where's that four part miniseries? But no, you want to make a miniseries about damn R. Kelly who's singing a song called I Don't See Nothing Wrong with a little bump and grunt. He's singing a song that's saying AJ nothing but a number and you acting confounded like you didn't know he was going to do that. <laughs> what happened to all of our daughters missing in DC though? What about all these freak pedophile Catholic priests? Right. 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 And they all white boys. You go in that right. Vatican, they got two brothers. And they, and they weak. All of them is white boys, man. Where's their movie miniseries, Touching the Choir Boy, part five? <laughs> they won't make it. They will not make that. Because you are the easiest people to fool. That's why when they made the R. Kelly miniseries, you got your popcorn and you couldn't exactly. wait to see it. Right. When they made the Michael Jackson mini, this is white people giving their seven-year-old kids to a grown man to sleep in the bed with him, and they mad at the man, but they not mad at his baby's parents. That's crazy. The hypocrisy of America is disgusting, man. That's why I'm sighing and crying against all the abomination done out here. And when the Most High give us that movement, Ezekiel 36, uh, Ezekiel 25, man. Ezekiel, when the Most High, y'all ain't mad enough. When the Most High put the spirit on brothers, it's, it's over out here, man. Because these brothers is willing, man. That's right. That's right. You want to make us terrorists? You want to say you need guns for us? But it's white people shooting up churches and mosques, man. That's right. We scared of you devils, man. That's right. That's right. We got to watch you. We need to racially profile you devils, man. Teach, huh? Right. I can't even worship in a church without one of your weird, maladjusted, sicko kids coming in there. And shooting assault rifles at unarmed people. But but where's the mini series about that? White in America, the real terrorists. <laughs> it ain't gonna get made. Cause you're hypocrites, man. You've been thinking about these times. I've been thinking about it. We need to make one. They got they got, I believe it was 49 people just got killed in New Zealand, and now they're banning guns over there. Now they're instantly banning guns. Instantly. Now the newspaper said instantly. angelic boy turned into a shooter. How, well, who decided that he was an angelic boy? He was a freaking creep, man. But ain't nobody going to say nothing except us, man. The Hebrew Israelites, man. That's right. And you want to call us black Hebrew Israelites. What the hell? How we, How do we become black Hebrew Israelites? And when you look at this sign, only three of the tribes is so-called black people. That's right. Well, is, since when is a Cuban black? Yeah, that's off. <laughs> Since when has a Guatemalan ever been called black? Well, since when has a Native American ever been called black? Thou sayest, Esau, you said that. That's right. In your hypocrisy, you're telling on yourself, and your kingdom is falling and you mad. Your kingdom is destroyed and you upset and you mad. Israel, we're trying to get you out of his kingdom and get on board with us. We're trying to stop you from loving and worshiping your oppressor and actually serve the God that loves you. So that he can stop asking, what have I done that you won't serve me? Israel, you don't got a long time, man. What you got? You got Ezekiel 25 and 14, you know what I want? Read this. This is Ezekiel chapter 25, verse 14. Now, are we unrighteous to read the book of Ezekiel? Read. Read it. Uh, and I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. And they shall do in Edom according to mine anger, 
and according to my fury, and they shall know my vengeance, saith Yahweh God. Now all the time they say vengeance is of the Lord, but who's going to actually carry it out? My people, Israel. Israel. That's why you brothers got to be able to handle a shield and a buckler in that day, man. All of, all of Esau's mechanics and wicked inventions is going to fail him in that day. That's going to be a part of how he's going to be so confounded. Because right now he has military operations to bar off Atlanta when martial law kicks yeah. off. You're going to be able to get out of here. He already got his coordinates already sessioned out. He's got, if you in Washington, D.C., and, and you in Maryland, you ain't going to be able to, if you in Delaware, you can't get out of there. He's already got that set up. He's got these Walmarts ready to be converted into uh, bases, uh, 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 bunkers that he can hold himself down in. You think he's doing, what, what do you think he bought all the tents for the FEMA camps for? And he bought all them body bags for, for nothing? He doesn't do anything for nothing because he has a plan. Israel, we're the ones that don't have the plan. We don't, I don't got any more. We're the ones that just wandering around like everything is sweet, man. But we trying to tell you this Bible is giving you a warning. This Bible is trying to get you to wake up and you don't have to pay for nothing. You don't have to sign up for nothing. All you got to do is turn toward God's commandments. That's all he's ever asked of you. You should be ashamed that your God has to ask, what did I do that you, what, what more could I have done for my vineyard? Right. That's a rhetorical question. That's the most high trying to calm himself down. You know how your parents start talking to themselves before they slap fire? They start talking to themselves first. Now, this, I know this girl ain't talk to me like that, right? That's that's what the Lord is doing. He's saying, what, what, what did I do that they found some iniquity? Yo, did they find iniquity in me? And the angels is like, yo, no, no, no. Because the angels are obedient, all right? The angels are obedient, but that's another precept. Go ahead. Revelation chapter 18 and verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her my people right. that ye be not partakers of her sins and that ye receive not of her plagues yeah because guess what if you have no hand joined in hand the wicked shall not go unpunished that's right that's right and the bible says whoever is found joined unto them shall be thrust through that's hebraic language for you going to die too yeah, right. that's right all right so separate from the wicked and start look at this righteous vibration man Baby is happy. Got one shoe on. She happy. <laughs> look, look, look at, look, look at the babies. Look at, look at, look at, look at all the young children, man. Look, 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 look. Look back there. It's, it's, and that's Northern Kingdom speaking their language, dealing. That's right. On a street corner in the middle of Atlanta, man. Where's CNN to uh, film that? Why didn't I say? Oh, we found a place where black people get along and study the Bible. This is a uh, phenomenon. Let's go film it. News at 11. They're not doing that. But let Ray Ray shoot Pookie and it's, it's the top story, man. We want the top story to be... Hey, Shalom! Godspeed. We want the top story to become, look how righteous we are. Look at how... Uh, yeah, look, look at how righteous we are. That's what we want the top story to be, man. Atlanta, you've become known for homosexuality this is what you've become known for you haven't become known for where righteousness thrives you've become known for a sexual uh uh, uh preference the homo, yeah, the homosexual capital of the world right? how, how how did that happen with all these pastors and preachers how did that happen <laughs> yeah that's a good question with all, there's no way that there's more pastors and preachers per square mile georgia. Than, than georgia this is the Bible what? The Bible Belt. How, how, then how did this place become Sodom and Gomorrah so easily? Because they love lies, man. And, and, they, and, the, and, the, and, the, and the pastors who herd my sheep, they don't pity the flock. They don't pity you. That's how, that's how Creflo can ask you for all that money to buy him a jet. Because he's not sorry that you can't barely feed your kids but you're in his church. He don't pity you. We pity you. You know why we pity you? Because we pity ourselves, because we acknowledge our offense. We know that we've done wrong. We know that we have done wrong and offended the Most High. We know that there was a time when we didn't know the law, statutes, and commandments. And we have to atone for that. Bring it right? out! I, I hit you right now. None of our women that are not on this side, I, I guarantee you you don't know the Most High has a dress code for you. I guarantee you that he, he has an a, a exact way that a woman is supposed to pray. I, I guarantee you that nobody taught you that. 
and rather than hear it, I gotta go. Read it, man. Read it loud, too. Because I'm not going to be held responsible. They're going to know the right way. This is 1 Corinthians. Chapter 11, verse 3. Okay. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of Christ is God. Come on. Every man praying or prophesying with his head covered dishonoreth his head. So you're supposed to take your hat off when you go into court. You're supposed to take your hat off when you come in a building. You're supposed to take your hat off when you come to church. The Bible says take the damn hat off when you pray to me. That's right. Why, who, who taught us that though? That should have been the first thing you learned when you showed up on Sunday school. Here's how you pray to the God you claim you love. Right. Nobody taught you that. The Israelites had to teach you that. Read on. Verse 5. But every woman that prayeth or prophesied, having her head uncovered, dishonoreth her head. You women is not supposed to be out here with your heads uncovered, gallivanting up and down in the street, man. You're supposed to be feminine. You're supposed to have an address, and you're supposed to have your head covered when you approach to the Lord. And I don't hold you at fault. I just have to tell you. Certain women cannot abide. They have to go. Right. Certain women can abide, and they take a note. That's right. That's the difference, man. That's why only two-thirds is going to die. But that righteous one-third, and we don't want you two-thirds around us. Guess what? I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. I don't care about the two-thirds. How about that? And I know our motto is we want all Israel to be saved. But that two-thirds ain't Israel. I'm That's here to, right. I'm here all to, Israel ain't Israel. Say it again. Bring it all out. Israel is not Israel. Y'all are, are the rebellious wild grape, and we want you out of the vineyard. We don't want you around, man. In the kingdom, I'm going to be so happy because everywhere I look is righteous brother, righteous sister. Righteous brother, servant Esau, righteous brother, righteous sister, servant Elamite, righteous brother, righteous sister, servant Ishmael. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We're not gonna have to worry about no wicked Negroes, man. These other nations gonna be powerless in that day, thus saith the Lord. And they're powerless now, man. I'm gonna show you how hypocritical a nation they are. Knowing that they cannot accept the light of the sun. That they do not have the defense against it, they still destroy the ozone layer. What level of intelligence is that? You're supposed to be the the, 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 the the top civilization, but you don't even realize that you your lifestyle kills you. And and our people run to follow after that. That's why the most high asked that question. What have I done? What did I do? Run them scriptures down again. Get go back to it. Uh, Micah 6 and 3, uh, Jeremiah 2, 5, Isaiah 5, 4. All right, brother. Shalom. Brother brother Daniel off the scene. Shalom. 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 Beloved brother. Who did what? Somebody pulled a gun out on them? Somebody pulled a gun out on their camp. And the Most High sent the angels, and them brothers are still with us, right? That's right. Godspeed, brother. Stay up. Much love. Listen, this is how the Most High feels about your rebellious behavior. This is the questions you're forcing the God of everyone to ask. Read. The book of Micah, chapter 6 and verse 3. Oh, my people, what have I done unto thee? And wherein have I wearied thee? Testify against me. And you ain't got no testimony against the Most High. The testimony is against yourself. That's right. You did not want to follow his ways, his law, statutes, and commandments. You wanted to do what you wanted to do. And that's why you're in the condition that you're in as a nation of people. Because I'm going to hit you with something. White man has a plan for his nation. That's why they put Trump in office. Because right. they have a plan for their nation. That's right. You trying to go to the other nation and ask them what's their plan for you. That's why Steve Harvey, uh, Jim Brown, Kanye Kuhn, they all going in there to talk to Donald Trump to ask Trump, what is your plan for our people? And Trump is looking at them like, you simple niggas. Why would you ever think that I would love you? You still think we want to help you? Read the next one. What's the next one? Jeremiah 2, 5. Jeremiah chapter 2, verse 5. Thus say the Lord, Yahweh, what iniquity have your fathers found in me, that they are gone far from me? What iniquity have you found in the Most High? What, 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 what did he do that was wrong? Nothing. Nothing. It's you that was wrong. Right. And when you acknowledge your offense, then you can be received. That's called repentance. But who can repent? Only the Israelites. You understand right. that? The Bible told you that. Get that scripture. For a prince and a savior for to give repentance unto Israel. 
Get that scripture. I like that scripture. The more you study this Bible, the more you find out that God's plan was for the Israelites to inherit this earth and to rule it. That his laws was the paramount laws, not your governing body's laws, not your constitution, which is hypocritical in itself. Those laws are not working. That's why people getting shot up in mosques and churches. That's why all the resources in the earth is being abused. That's why uh, 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 homosexuality is becoming a, a lifestyle that we give to children, that we give it to them. That's your laws. God's laws had order, man, and the people were happy. When the people, when when there's a vision, the people are happy. Where there is no vision, the people shall perish. Right. And our vision is for Israel to get the kingdom. Kwam Yasharala. Kwam Yasharala. Read it. This is the book of Acts, chapter five and verse thirty-one. He has has God exalted with His right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel. So then, what what happens to everybody else? That's the question you want to ask, ain't it? You want to, you're instantly concerned with what happens to everybody else. No one else is asking that question. When they made the treaty for Antarctica, did anybody say, well, what about the black people? Don't they have a part in this? Huh? When they was opening up oil holes in the Gulf of Mexico that broke, that burst and spilled <laughs> millions of gallons of oil. Did anybody say, well, how will the uh, Mexican people feel about that? Are they going to like that? Maybe we shouldn't drill here. What happened, man? What the hell am I looking at, man? Now see, now see, that's Jake, man. That's Jake, man. That man is supposed to be a prince in the earth. You think Esau goes? You think Esau goes in his boardroom and says, "Well, what about that brother? What are we gonna do for him? How are we gonna help that brother?" No one does that. You have to care about yourself. These people do not care. They're not sitting around talking to their family. What are we gonna do to help the black people? They're in such a bad condition. Can you pass the uh, string beans? Don't put any salt. Too much seasoning. Too much. They don't do that. They don't care about you, man. And when they see us out here rebuking. They never step up, man. This I'm going to hit you with something. I've never been a part of so many camps where Esau don't challenge, man. We've had consecutive camps. Esau, he come listen. Oh, got to go. There's no challenging up here, man. Thus saith the Lord, man. By Shema Mashiach Yahweh Shah. And that power comes from the God that you forsook. Let's endear him. Let's entreat him, man. Let's do something nice for him. And what's the only thing he asked of us? What's our only duty? That we what? Keep Keep his his that we what? Keep his that we what? Keep his commandments. That's the only thing he ever asked you for. Your woman, she wanted my anniversary. You got to take me out so I feel special. She got that, so I want that. You got to do a lot to keep your woman happy, man. The most high said, all you got to do is keep my commandments, man. Your parents, man, you got to do a lot to keep them happy, you children. They ask for a lot, right? Take the garbage out, sweep the floor, clean your room, get good grades in school, keep your mouth shut, or wash your tail. They ask a lot, but the Most High only asks us to do one thing, is keep His commandments, man. And that they are not grievous. Don't give me no lip. Don't do it like you, don't do my commandments like you don't want to do it. That's why we're keeping this Passover, and we're going to be joyous. All right? We're going to celebrate better than your New Year's, because that's our New Year. We don't need no ball to drop. We want the kingdom to drop. That's right. Come, Israel. Come. So let's, let's be mindful that we've offended the Lord and we need to make it right with him and that should be our motivation to be better Israelites. Khan? Khan. Alright, so with that, I'm going to hand the mic over to the next electrifying speaker. Shalom.